Hi guys, welcome to Hakoda channel. New Kali Linux 2020.1 has been released. Non root throughout the history of Kali and its predecessors backtrack WHAX and WAPISCs, the default credentials have been root or. This is no more. We are no longer using the super user account root as default in Kali 2020.1. The default user account is now a standard, unprivileged user. For more of the reasons behind this switch, please see our previous blog post. As you can imagine, this is a very large change with years of history behind it. As a result, if you notice any issues with this, please do let us know on the bug tracker. So with this, should you use Kali as your daily driver, as the primary OS? It's up to you. There wasn't anything really stopping you before, we just don't encourage it. We still don't, but it's a helping hand for the people who are familiar with Kali enough. Why do we not recommend it? Because we are unable to test for that usage pattern and we don't want the influx of bug reports that would come with it. If you are brave enough to try it, you may wish to switch the branch from rolling to Kali last snapshot to try and be more stable. Kali single installer image We took a good hard look at the usage of Kali, what images are actually downloaded, how they are put to use, and so on. With this information in hand, we decided to completely restructure and simplify the images we release. Going forward, we will have an installer image, a live image, and a network installer image. These changes should allow for easier selection of the right image for you to download, while increasing flexibility on installation and further reducing download sizes. You will probably notice a bit of a change in the ARM images starting with our 2020.1 release. There are few images available for download due to both manpower and hardware constraints. Some images won't be posted without community assistance. The scripts are still updated, so if an image doesn't exist for a machine you use, you'll have to create it by running the build script on a Kali machine. ARM images for 2020.1 will still run as root by default. The sad news that a lot of people didn't want to hear an image for the Pinebook Pro isn't included in the 2020.1 release. We are still working on getting it added, and as soon as it is ready we will post it. NetHunter Images, our mobile pen testing platform, Kali NetHunter, has also had some new improvements. You are now no longer required to root your phone in order to run Kali NetHunter, but that does come with some limitations. To suit everybody's needs, Kali NetHunter now comes in the following three editions. NetHunter needs rooted devices with custom recovery and patched kernel. Has no restrictions. Device-specific images are available here. 